uh, to be honest, I don't really feel comfortable on these roads in New Zealand. At least not on the Northern Island because those truck drivers are just, I don't know, they give sometimes absolutely no room. Like on a road like this, there's pretty much no shoulder. So it feels very dangerous. And <laughs> I think I'm kind of really keen to to get to Auckland to get to just finish riding here on this on these roads. I hope this helps a little bit and it adds a bit of style. So yeah, let's keep going. But eventually I made it safely to Ohakuni where I found a good spot where I proceed with my daily food routine of pasta, garlic, tomatoes and olive oil and put my mattress on the ground so that I could sleep just under the bright moon. And just for the statistics, I cycled 104 km and climbed 1400 m in altitude. So the third day in a row cycling more than 100 km. Next day. This phone that I found makes an alarm and I can't turn it off. <laughs> oh now it's off. So let's pack all the stuff and let's keep going. So dear Mr. Bicycle Traveler, may I ask you a question? Sure, go for it. So since you are traveling 600 km in 6 days from Wellington to Auckland, what is your favorite wind direction? What a stupid question. Of course it's headwind because it's so much fun. <laughs> I just made it to a place which is called National Park, which is quite a weird place for a village or a town. But from here you can see Mount Doom, pretty much where Frodo threw the ring into the volcano. So that's pretty cool, kind of. And from here I'm gonna descend also from 800 meters of elevation down to 200 meters. So it will be a lot of downhill, but still a lot of wind. So. Let's see. There's a lot of wind! <laughs> 70 k's an hour! And headwind! That's a lot of wind in my face! <laughs> That's funny. just past the city Taumaruni and I'm cruising here along this road which runs parallel to the main road. I've got 86 km on my clock by now and still got a lot of daylight and the scenery is just beautiful. And for some reason there's an airplane doing loops all the time. Don't know why. But yeah, gonna do some more kilometers and just enjoy the day.
was a really, really nice back road. But now I'm back on the highway number four. So <laughs> let's keep dealing with the traffic. But 10 kilometers more and I will be done for today, I think. I think it's gonna be quite tricky to find a place where I can put up my tent because New Zealand is a country where everything is like private property and fenced up, like you can see here and there. So you can't even get off from the road. Cheers guys, enjoy. <laughs> oh, 400 meters, a picnic shelter area. That sounds good to me. Let's check it out. Just did 100 kilometers, just in a moment. Awesome. That's exactly what I was looking for. Perfect. Look at this. Awesome. That's perfect, man. Couldn't be better. Just in time. So tonight's dinner is going to be a really classical one pot meal. On the bottom we put some red lentils, followed by rice, some peanuts, three cloves of garlic, one onion, one carrot, all of this broccoli, one tomato, some chili flakes, and then we light up the stove and simmer this whole mix for about a half an hour. Oh yep. Mmm. Ooh, spicy. Ooh, you, 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 you. I'm not sure if I should add this as like coconut milk. I'm carrying this around for like weeks. Oh, the whole coconut stuff is still inside. Come on. Mmm. <laughs> I'm such a good cook. Mmm. Really good. I mean, could be could be better, but for the fact that I cooked it, it's pretty good. I love how the red lentils affect the food because they give kind of a little bit like a potato-ish taste to it. So it's Pretty cool. I can only recommend them. Mm. So I just checked on my GPS. So if I would do tomorrow another 100 kilometer, about, and the day after tomorrow again, then I would be like almost in Auckland. So then I would have to do on the third day, let's say about 40 kilometer, and then I. I actually would have to cycle another 50 kilometer through Auckland, which is like, it's possible, but I'm not really keen to cycle 50 kilometer in a, in a city like this. So I talked to somebody from the company we're gonna work for, and he advised me to just take a train um, to just uh, yeah, avoid the city, which I'm gonna do probably, because it's like nothing that's fun to cycle through a city like Auckland. So yeah, that's the plan. Two and a half days of cycling more and I'm done. Well, right, they're gonna go to bed. Cheers out. New day. Mmm, dinner as a breakfast and it looks, it looks healthy, but I wouldn't say it looks too good. But <laughs> well, hmm. actually not too bad. So I'm gonna finish this, pack up my tent, wait until it's dry because it was raining during the night. 
maybe it's gonna rain during the day, I don't know. And then I keep moving. Pedaling hard, cycling for life. by now uh, 20 kilometers to the next town and then I can uh, have a break because I don't have really much food so yeah I need to keep going They're not really impressed. Well then, I just go. Never mind. Bye. <laughs> I guess now I scared them all. Maybe I'm a cow. Maybe I'm not a cow. A cow wouldn't cycle around the world, right? Or would she? Maybe. Did you ever saw a car cycling around the world? No. And why? Because there are no bicycles for cows. Easy. <laughs> he looks like a funny dog. Goodbye, funny dog. I'm cycling out of Otorohanga and I have to show you this dog first because I think he didn't really understand the concept of his house. So instead of being inside the house, he's just on top. It's a smart dog. And the weather forecast says for tomorrow. Oh, for today and tomorrow, it's gonna rain. Tomorrow in the morning, there will be a thunderstorm and like 100% chance of rain. That sounds exciting. So it's about to get dark and I do have pretty much the same problem as yesterday. Everything is fenced up, so it's gonna be tricky next place I would find this is my camp spot I decided to get myself ready to cycle in the darkness and eventually after six hours 51 minutes and 113 kilometer I arrived in Pirongia I was lucky to find a really good spot where I could put up my tent so, good night Good morning, new day. I was sleeping and I heard like drops. So I thought like, oh, it didn't rain so far. So let's pack together before everything gets wet. And I was fast enough. So anyway, I'm gonna pack my stuff and cycle off. actually quite disappointed about the rain because the weather forecast said it would rain so I could try my rain jacket but now it's not raining but there is at least one thing that is always with me it's a good friend good companion it's the headwind it makes always sure that I'm not going too fast thank you headwind I love you I really love you so I've got now 45 kilometer on my clock today and I don't know what's going on now here why it is so loud It was a really strong rain 
and now the rain basically stopped but I put on my rain jacket so let's hope for some more rain. And I'm now cruising here along this river and there are a lot of speedboats just going on, look at this. some kind of feeling that this cloud is gonna it's gonna bring some serious rain to me let's challenge the cloud I'm still dry haha -ha, ha -ha. it's gonna be impossible to make me wet haha -ha. this is just uh, the way how I challenge the cloud okay I can feel I can feel some drops and I can clearly see there's rain coming. All right, all right. Okay, I give up, I give up. It's okay, it's okay. I've learned my lesson. Now pass on, rain cloud. Nice. That's it or what? You have something more? I'm a bit disappointed. Give me some more rain. Then on 92 kilometer, and all I have to do is to finish this climb. And after this, I will be just rolling down to a nice spot. At least it looks on the map like this. So yeah, let's finish this. So uh, yeah, <laughs> I was cycling on top of this hill. And I saw a huge cloud and I was like, okay, it's gonna rain soon, I know it, I know it. And then I knew it. Look at me, it's like, it was just, I don't even know what to say, it was just rain. A lot. Just out of nowhere. <laughs> I made it, I made it. 106 kilometer. So yeah, tough day. So it's a new day. Um, sun is shining. There are some chickens just coming. <laughs> I don't know why. But yeah, packing up my stuff and then I keep going. Mmm, my helmet is still wet. Feels amazing. Man. Poor camera. Dropped it again. So, and here we are. Welcome to the suburbs of Auckland. It's actually quite funny how everything turned out here in New Zealand because my plan was never to go to Auckland. I actually wanted to go to Queenstown to find a cool job and to stay there, but well, just didn't work out. Actually, I was thinking to just cycle till the end, but since I'm going to start tomorrow my job as a cycle cab rider, I thought it would be not too bad to have like one day at least off from cycling. Because like last days I was like doing just 100 k's every day, uh, and yeah, that's about it. So yeah, gonna catch the train, and then I go to the CBD and see what's gonna happen there. And here we are, welcome to Auckland. 
So I just left the train station and I'm now riding to the place where I'm gonna live uh, for the next few months. So not sure what to expect and not sure how it's gonna turn out everything but I'm pretty excited so let's see how it goes. I'm almost there but sure there has to be a climb at the end otherwise it would be too easy. So whoa. Looks like a fairly fancy area here. Anyway, so I'm gonna end this video here and I leave the ending open, cliffhanger like. And yeah, so see you soon, I would say.